Hi, I'm Suzanne Nielsen, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do an I-cord cast-on um, when you want to join it in the round, uh, like for this cowl, which is called uh, the dance. To start, we're going to do a provisional cast-on um, of three stitches. And so normally to do a provisional cast on, you make a slip knot and place it on the bottom needle. And then I like to use the wrap on cast on where I wrap um, around both needles had held together. But in this case, um, the stitches that we provisionally cast on, we want to end up putting those on a stitch marker um, until later when we can Kitchener stitch them to the other three stitches that are going to form the I cord um, on the bottom of our cast on. So I'm going to cheat here a little bit. Um, instead of using my two needles to do the cast on, I'm going to take my slip knot. I'm just going to use one needle. And I'm going to place my slip knot on a stitch marker, um, a locking stitch marker um, or a stitch holder of some kind. Um, so place the slip knot onto the stitch marker. And then I'm going to treat the stitch marker like my needle <laughs> in the previous case. Um, so I'm going to wrap the yarn around my needle and the stitch marker. So that's one, <clears throat> two, three. And then I'll go ahead and lock the stitch marker. And now we have three wraps on the needle and three wraps um, on the stitch marker plus the slip knot that's on the stitch marker. And I always take out the stitch, the slip knot. So the slip knot can stay for a little bit, but it's going to get taken out later. And then we're going to start working on these three stitches. So these three stitches are going to form the I cord. Um, they're a little loose because everything is just wraps at this point. <laughs> Um, but don't let that bother you too much. <clears throat> so we just knit across these wraps. Sorry, keep that stitch marker out of the way. <clears throat> All right, let's start over here. Keep the stitch marker out of the way and knit the wraps. So one, two, I knit, knit the three wraps. And now to continue forming the I cord, we're always going to transfer these three stitches back to the left needle. So transfer them back. And next is where we're gonna start forming the actual cast on stitches. So to form a cast on stitch, we're gonna take the leg of the stitch that's below and knit into it. So the stitch that's on the edge here we're going to take the the right leg of the stitch that um, of the stitch that this one comes out of. So right down here, I just went into the back of it is kind of the easiest way to pick it up and place it on the needle so that I can knit into it. And that's basically that's our first cast on stitch. So now we have one cast on stitch. We have three stitches that are traveling for the I cord, and we have the three that are provisionally um, that are being held here on my stitch marker. And then we knit across the three I cord stitches. It'll get a little easier to see as I move along. So I'll just work a couple here. And then place those three stitches of the I cord back. And then we'll cast on another stitch. So we'll take that right leg of the stitch below, place it on the needle, and knit. Two stitches cast on, and now I'm working the I cord and place them back and take that right leg, place it on the needle, and knit it. And place the three stitches back. I'll show you one <clears throat> another quicker way. Um, instead of having to pick up that stitch, but it's that same process. So place three needles back. 
Now, instead of um, picking up the right leg with your right needle and placing it on, you can also, um, as you get a little farther along, it gets easier to just dip your um, left needle into that stitch. I'll do that again, so I can take that one out. So here we are, we need to pick up that stitch. Um, so you can dip your left needle into that stitch to get it instead of having to pick it up with the right needle. Um, but either way, it's pretty quick and works well. Let's do it one more time. So slip the three stitches back and then either pick it up with, um, with your right needle or dip down into it with your left needle. take a look and see how it looks. So if we place our three stitches here for the, um, the I-cord back um, on our needle, then we can count how many stitches we have actually cast it on. Because after we're done, when we join in the round, we'll just be using the stitches up here. These three stitches will get Kitchenered to these three stitches. So we have like a nice continuous I-cord loop um, at the base. Um, and so again, it's either dip down and grab it or just grab it with the um, right needle and then knit it into it. So another way to do this cast on is to just knit an I-cord and then pick up all along the I-cord. Um, and we're just doing that picking up in the same step. I just find it a lot easier to count the stitches that are actually on the needle um, than to keep track of counting the um, the stitches that you knit in an I-cord to know how long to make your I-cord. Um, but, but, so this, that's why this is my preferred method. Dip down, grab it. All right, I am going to um, work ahead now and then show you how to join in the round. All right, so now I have a few more stitches built up along here. Once you have enough stitches, um, at the very end, you do want to pick up the stitch. Um, so transfer the three stitches over and end with picking up this, um, this stitch here. And then count, um, count these stitches. So once you have the right amount of stitches, uh, then you're ready to join in the round. So again, these three that we provisionally cast on are going to get Kitchener stitched to um, the three stitches that have been forming our I-cord. And make sure you do pick up um, one last, last time um, without knitting across. So instead of knitting across these three stitches, you can place these three stitches on another removable stitch marker. And then you actually don't have to do the Kitchener stitch until the very end. Um, but we'll show you that. So I just place them on the marker and take them off the needle. <clears throat> and now they can hang out here while we join in the round. All right, so I obviously just have a small amount of stitches to join, um, but that's okay. So to join, we'll, we'll bring, um, we'll, you know, bring the back up around um, to join with the front and keep our tail out of the way. <clears throat> All right, so we'll be joining like this, um, and I'll have to use the magic loop here to get my needle in place. <laughs> All right, it's actually a lot easier to not twist these stitches because you have this nice big I-cord, so do make sure that it's not twisted. Um, but then you just ignore your uh, stitch marker stitches at this point and start knitting in the round. All right, so now I'm just going to knit around and then um, I'll come back and show you how to Kitchener stitch those three stitches together. All right. So after you have worked a few rounds or even at the end of your project, um, you can come back 
and take these uh, the stitches that we have on the stitch marker and we'll just place them on a, a double point or you can use the, the needles that you used um, for the for the project if you if you're already done but take the make sure the needles are on the double point take out the stitch marker um, and then we just can pull out the um, pull out the slip knot all right and I'll take these three stitches and also put them on a double point easier to get them on. <laughs> Goodness. All right, let's pull <laughs> to get those stitches to come back out a little bit. All right, there we go. <clears throat> and then we'll take a look at our stitches. I see that I have them lined up so that there's the three um, kind of coming out of this I cord and the three coming out of that I cord. Um, so now we can just use our tail from the cast on to Kitchener stitch them together. So I'll take our darning needle and work Kitchener stitch. It's kind of hard to get in a groove for Kitchener stitch with just three stitches, <laughs> but I will do my best here. Um, right, for Kitchener stitching, um, for our setup, uh, we're going to go ahead and come um, uh, just do a purl and leave this front stitch on. And then we'll do a knit stitch through this one and leave it on the needle just as our setup. And then we'll get into Kitchener stitching. Um, all right, so I always, for Kitchener stitching, I um, I think about going into this, I consider this kind of the trough in between the two needles. So I go into the trough and then back out. So when I'm working on the front needle, I go into the trough. So that makes it a knit wise and off. And then I come back out of the trough and purl wise and on. And then when I go to work on the stitches on the back needle, I go into the trough. So that's purl wise and off and knit and on. This is how I remember it. Um, so knit wise off, purl wise on. And purl wise off and knit and knit on. And then we'll just come over here and knit this one off and Curl this one off. Pull our yarn through, um, and then we have a nice continuous I cord in the round. Thanks for watching.